Psalms 34 through 5, it says, Sing to the Lord, all you godly ones. Praise his holy name. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may last through the night, but joy comes with the morning. Morning sets you up for the rest of the day. Here are the 10 simple habits that I do every morning to set my day up for success. Today I'll be talking about my 10 daily habits that I do every morning to set my day up on the right foot that just help make my day better. When I do all of these things, I tend to have a better day. Obviously you don't have to do all of these things every single day. I do work from home, so obviously I'm able to make this part of my routine, but if you work early or whatever it may be, Obviously, I don't expect you to do these every morning, but the days that I do these, they just set me up for a great day because I believe mornings really set you up for the rest of your day. What you do in the mornings is going to set you up for how you're going to feel the rest of the day. If you wake up on the wrong side of the bed, if you're running late, I feel like that's just going to take you into not as good of a day as you could have had if you would do these 10 simple habits. I'm Bethany. If you're new here, I make faith and lifestyle content. I'm 23. I live in Alabama with my husband and our two dogs. And thank you for being here. I'm so excited about this video. I love mornings. I feel so like quiet and at peace in the mornings because it feels like I'm the only one awake. The first one is not getting on your phone when you wake up. I still have my alarm on my phone because I just don't have an alarm clock, but when my alarm goes off, I turn it off and I don't get on my phone, specifically on social media. I will get on my phone, look and see if there's any important text that I might need to reply to, like my parents or a friend or something like that, or Ethan if he's gotten to work but I don't get on social media until after I finish my morning routine because I feel like it helps me kind of just have a calm morning. I'm not looking at what other people are doing. I'm focusing on just having a peaceful morning. I know a lot of people have an alarm clock. They keep their phone outside the room. I don't keep my phone outside of my room, but um, I don't get on it first thing in the morning, specifically social media. Next is I make my bed. I make my bed every single morning. I find that when I make my bed, I just feel more put together immediately. Like if you want to feel on top of your game in the morning, make your bed because when you walk into your room, when you get home from work or whatever you're doing, your bed is made and it just feels cleaner. And I'm the type of person that my environment really affects my mental state. So if my environment isn't clean, I'm going crazy. So I make my bed every morning. Depends on the morning if I do it right when I wake up or if I do some of these other things first. Next is to empty the dishwasher. Obviously this is on the days that we do have dishes to clean so at night I will start the dishwasher so they are clean in the morning and I will immediately empty them because if you start the dishwasher in the morning or if you wait till later in the day to empty it it just gets annoying because you might have dishes to put in the dishwasher but you can't put them in there until you empty it so I always like to empty the dishwasher in the morning if I forget to turn on the dishwasher at night my morning is just so not the best because I'm so annoyed that I didn't turn the dishwasher on I'm like oh my goodness now I have to like wait on it to wash and then I have to unload it and it just ruins my routine. And I find routine, it really helps me. Next is to fill up my cup with water. I use my Stanley tumbler. I'm obsessed with it, as you guys know. And I just fill it up every single morning. It holds 40 ounces of water and I'm immediately getting water into my body in the mornings, which is super good for you. I think they say that you're supposed to like drink a cup whole cup of water in the morning, but I just fill up my cup and drink it throughout the day. Obviously, also I brush my teeth in the mornings, but I feel like that's, you know, common sense. We all know that. Next is to open the windows. Obviously, this is if you do work from home, you could open the windows in the morning, but if you're getting ready for work or whatever, it might not make sense, but I love to open the windows. It just brings so much light in and it makes your house feel brighter. Now that it's a winter time, it's obviously harder to do that because when I wake up, usually the sun isn't completely up and I'll use like a lamp, but I really love being able to open the windows in the morning and seeing the sunshine come in. It just immediately gives you a boost of serotonin when you have the sun coming in. Next is my most important thing that I do in the morning and that's my quiet time. I'm a Christian, so I like to spend time with the Lord in the mornings. Obviously some people do it at night and that's totally okay, whatever's best for your schedule but I like to do my quiet time in the morning. I journal, I read my Bible, I pray. I might read a chapter of a Christian book that I'm reading, but I just spend time with the Lord, whether that's 30 minutes or an hour, 15 minutes, whatever you have. I just like to spend time with the Lord. Write down what I'm grateful for, read the word, just get the truth in my heart because I find on the days if I don't read the Bible or pray, I'm going throughout my day with things in my head that aren't the truth of God's word. But when I do read my Bible and pray, I find that the truth of God's word is with me throughout my day and that's what I remember. It also encourages me. It puts me in a better mood because I'm starting my day with the Lord who always brings peace and encouragement. Next is I take my vitamins. I take a probiotic and a multivitamin every morning and I find it helps your digestion. It helps just your body. You need to get vitamins in your body every day. So I like to take my vitamins in the morning before I eat breakfast and I just love them. I use just gummy vitamins. Next is to have a breakfast slash coffee that you're excited about. 
I find that if you have something that you're excited about, like making a coffee or making a latte in the mornings, you're more apt to get out of bed. I've been really loving chocolate chip waffles in the mornings. They're so delicious. So if I know, hey, I'm going to do my quiet time, do all my morning things, and then I'm going to make some yummy chocolate chip waffles, I'm more apt to get out of bed because I'm excited for that. If you like coffee, you can have a coffee to look forward to. I don't really drink coffee in the mornings, but I know a lot of people do, and that helps them just give them something to be excited about in the mornings. It is hard to get out of bed some days, so just to have a daily habit of having something that you're excited about to wake up to and to eat or to drink in the mornings is great. Next is to get ready and put on a cute outfit. I have been trying to get ready every day. If you watch my 2022 reset, one of my goals is to get ready every day, even if that's just mascara and a cute sweatshirt and sweatpants. I would like it to be like a face and makeup and like more of a cuter outfit, like jeans or something, but I think it's just good to get ready. Obviously this is, has to do with if you work from home, a lot of times if you're going to work, you have to get ready, but just getting ready makes you feel more productive. It makes you feel more put together and you're just like, wow, I can like conquer this day because I got ready. Also, while you're getting ready, I love putting on moisturizer in the morning. It's just so good to moisturize your face in the morning. I don't know if everyone does this, but before I put on my makeup or anything, or if I'm not wearing makeup, I always put moisturizer on because it's really good for your skin and getting that cleansing in your skin before you um, put makeup on in the mornings. And then lastly is working at your desk. I obviously am not the best at this. A lot of times I do work on my couch and especially since we got our puppy Lily, it's kind of hard to work at my desk because at my desk there's a plant in that office and she will try to eat it. So it's hard for me to work there, but I do find you get a lot more done, you're more productive if you work from a desk or even a kitchen table or something like that. But I do tend to work from the couch, but I find when I do work from my desk or work from my kitchen table, I feel more productive. I feel like, well, I'm like getting stuff done and I don't feel the urge to like put on a YouTube video or put on something on the TV or get on social media or whatever it may be. I don't, I'm not really distracted. And those are my 10 daily habits that I try to do every single morning. And they really set me up for a good day. Let me know what you do every morning to set you up for a good day. Mornings are so powerful. And like the word says, the joy comes in the mornings. So we are to get up and enjoy them and do things that are gonna set us up for a great day. Obviously, if you wake up in a bad mood, it's probably going to translate into the rest of your day. So I want us to all wake up feeling encouraged, feeling peaceful, and ready to take on the day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe. I make faith and lifestyle content, and I would love for you to stick around. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post fun stuff over there. But I think that's it. So I'll see you very soon for my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.